soldiers and law enforcement agents will be going to the U.S. border with Mexico. Governor Ron DeSantis says he is sending them there to help Texas handle what was expected to be a surge of migrants. Bob Hazen is looking into what the governor has planned. And Bob, those people will be there for at least a month. Yeah, that's right. More than 1,100 Florida soldiers and law enforcement officers are going to be making that trip. And let me break down the personnel going. We're talking about the bulk of them, 800 National Guard soldiers, also 200 FDLE officers, 101 FHP troopers and state officers with fish and wildlife plus emergency management personnel. Now, Governor Ron DeSantis says that he's deploying them after Texas asked for help with the end of Title 42, the pandemic era policy that made it easier to to expel migrants. Many people expected a massive surge of people trying to cross the border into the U.S. when that expired. But federal officials have said that the crossings have actually been lower in recent days. Even so, the governor says that Florida is helping Texas respond to the crisis. And we talked to lawmakers from both parties about this move. It's not our job to take care of the world. It's our job to take care of Florida. And I applaud the governor to standing up to Joe Biden's open border policy. We are not a border state, and so I, I need the governor to stop pretending that we are and to focus on being the governor of our state, not running for president in a Republican primary. And the governor sent law enforcement to the border also back in 2021, but they were in much lower numbers. The teams deployed today are expected to be there for 30 days, although that can be extended if it needs to be. Reporting live, Bob Hazen, West 2 News. All right, you could count on West 2 News to let you know when those resources are sent off to Texas. Just download our West 2 News mobile app right now and make sure you turn on breaking news alerts.